Hello, this is Ender, and welcome to my VR Arcade, but not quite as usual, because today I would like to welcome you to my VR Arcade in reality. This is due to the Try My Tech website, which I'm going to explain to you in just a moment. I, perhaps like many of you, got into virtual reality during the pandemic lockdown. And it was due to that that I found virtual reality as a great outlet for exercise, socialization, and entertainment. Unfortunately, much as Morpheus from The Matrix would say, you can't be shown what virtual reality is. You have to experience it. I've tried to do that as best I can through my YouTube channel and green screening. However, everyone experiences virtual reality differently, not only through their perception, but also by wearing the gear and seeing how it feels and fits. Fortunately, TryMyTech is gonna help with that problem. You can think of TryMyTech as a showroom or an Airbnb, where providers such as myself create experiences for you to try out. Accessories such as the Cat VR treadmill, the Pimax Crystal, which I currently have live, as well as my B Haptics gear, which is also live and available for you. Next, I'm considering creating a gun stock comparison between the Mammut Wasp and ProTube Force Tube, and even I'll make the Pro Volvers probably available to you. Flight or sim ones, maybe soon I'll be getting the Quest 3. Now, some of you may be wondering, what if I don't live near Ender? I happen to live in the Denver, Colorado area, exact address provided after booking, but more and more experienced providers will be opening up soon. But even if you don't attend to try my tech experience, it will still benefit this channel because I will be providing my guests the opportunity to share their feedback on this channel. In fact, Here's some experiences from friends I invited over in what a Try My Tech experience might look like. Aaron, how are you doing today? Doing well, how are you doing? Doing great. Awesome. So we're gonna try out some VR. Aaron, what's your experience with VR? Absolutely none. You can literally turn around too. Oh. <laughs> You're like right here, but I, I don't. <laughs> you don't see me, I'm close, <laughs> And that's a bazooka, be careful. <laughs> you blow yourself up. <laughs> Oh, no way. This is insane. Being then they're like vulnerable, right? Get him, get him. Yes! All right, now you can snipe out the window. Did you drop a gun? See? Snipe him. Yep. Of course, with an AK, it's really hard to do. Oh, you got him! Oh. Huh. Yeah! <laughs> Dog. See the 3D depth to it? <laughs> this is the Pimax Crystal, and we're going to put you into this now. This is freaky. How so? It's just so real. I feel like I can just sit down right now. How's it look comparative to the quest? I can like almost read this. Read the, yeah, you can. Turn, yeah, read the label on the back. Oh wow, yeah, I can like focus my eyeballs on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is, yeah, th this level of detail is ridiculous. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, how do they even get quality like this if it's not close to your ears? The reflection off the painting. Is what in the world? Well, Aaron, thanks for coming over and checking out my VR arcade. What did you think of today? You know, seeing videos on, on like YouTube or something, but like actually dealing with it like in your face, it, it completely changes the game. You got to play a lot of Half-Life Alyx. The, the bioluminescence of like some of the sludge on the walls it had its own kind of profiles when it was like up in your face and it just had this kind of like realism that, again, was undescribable, you know? Going from the Quest headset to the Crystal. Yeah, with the Quest, it was... It was like, okay, this is cool, you know, never having had done like VR and stuff before, but having that as like a precursor to the crystal, it's a night and day difference. Like seeing up into like the, the fog and on the skyscraper on Half-Life Alex, the, the kind of like the jiggly matter of the, the tripods of the aliens, it is a game changer. And then you tried the Behaptic here with contractors. What did you think about that? It's a hard thing to kind of like think about going into, but once you deal with it and like getting like shot in the back, it, it's it, it's a lot more. It adds to the immersiveness of being able to like turn around, look where you're getting shot at from, maybe you don't die in like three seconds. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it changes the game. The recoil in the shoulder, really, just it's all about immersion. At the end of the day, I'm getting the kind of vibe of, and it's 
it's really hitting where it, I think it would want to. Now the gun stock, what were your thoughts on that? The gun stock was, was pretty cool, being able to like have it like a solid aiming thing with, with whatever game you were playing, but then the, it started shooting and then the recoil kicked in and I was like, okay, this is something going on so, here. So, Perry, thanks for coming over and checking out my VR gear. We've done a little VRing before, but for my audience, uh, what's your experience with VR? Absolutely. Um, I would say I'm uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, like a 2. A little headset VR here and there. This will be my first time on the treadmill. Um, and then I've done um, kind of one of those VR arcades with a, a bunch of my friends with the haptic feedback stuff. But um, novice. Novice yeah. at best. He's tried my Reverb G2 and my Quest 2. And today he's going to be using the Cat VR C2 Plus. And we're also going to be showing him the Pimax Crystal. I'm going to myself. Oh, f it's crazy. Yeah, no, I don't remember it like this, though. Um, pretty good. It takes some getting used to in terms of how far you can allow your feet to move and stuff like that. Because at first I was walking like this, but then once you get comfortable with it, you could really, like, go to the edge and move a lot faster. It's just, like, trusting the, trusting the harness and stuff. Uh, you can definitely tell it's, uh, it's not how you'd naturally walk just because when you put your foot on the lip obviously it slides down so I I feel like it's like trying to walk up like a 20% grade okay. of ice okay. where you're just staying in place but once you get used to oh, shit, oh shit. I almost fell down that oh God, I don't want to do it. All right. Oh, oh they didn't see me. Oh, I thought they were going to literally jump out in my face. Got him. Oh, there you go. Oh, I just... Oh, oh, shit. oh shit. Oh sh I Oh f Dude, these parts are literally pitch black. I can't see. So I'm just going for it. Let me open this one. Oh, there we go. Oh sh Oh sh Oh my Oh! Oh! Oh, there's noises though. No. Oh, there's a little. Oh, oh shit! Oh. So Perry, what'd you think of the Cat VR treadmill? Uh, it's a night and day difference in experience compared to. I mean, like our, our interview prior to my experience. You know, I told you I, you 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 set me up with some headsets a couple times, and you know even this immense setup that Ender has in his apartment where the headset's on like a bungee cord from the top of the roof. It's more intense than most setups, but add the treadmill into the mix and it's like a unique experience that I've never, well, I've never experienced before. So definitely, uh, I appreciate that. Cool. So if you were interested in buying one of these, do you see the benefit of coming over here and trying it out through this Trimotech program I'm doing? Oh, absolutely. I would. That's 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 kind of an upfront investment where you try before you buy. I think would definitely be worth it. And and if you are a, a semi regular VR gamer and you really want to take it to the next level, I think it's worth the investment because not only do you get a killer workout in, um, but it it's it it changes the VR experience all for the better. Not only do you get to move through the game yourself, um, but as I was playing the game, and you might have heard. Um, Ender and myself kind of commenting on it at least for me completely eliminated the um, Motion sickness or not the motion sickness, but the dizziness involved in so if you are one of those people that's sensitive to stuff like that I think this would fix the problem
Awesome. And one last question. So before you tried the Reverb G2 and my Quest 2, what did you think of this new headset, the Pimax Crystal? Yeah, well, um, an aptly named product, it was crystal clear. Like the, the difference is um, immediate and pretty obvious. So, I mean, even in the game when we played Half-Life Alex, which I understand is one of the better games when it comes to clarity and rendering and all that stuff out there, like even compared to the last headset, um, the game's no different, but you can see the individual details on the gloves, anything you can pick up, you can read as if it was in front of your eyes. And even prior to getting in the game, like the default load screens, I was just looking around like, holy crap. And you do get lost. We were gaming for like a good hour, felt like 20 minutes. And when I took off the headset, I was like, oh, this is the real world. <laughs> If you've appreciated my efforts, please click that like button. It really helps my channel grow and subscribe to see future content. And even better, click that notification bell so you'll know when the next video comes out. Thank you so much for watching.